When a team shoots as well as they did tonight, how much is that them being hot, and how much is it you guys uh, not rotating well or missing some assignments defensively? I think it goes both ways. I think mean, they shot, they shot a tremendous, you know, from the field, about two and threes. But some of that got does, you know, come on us. You know, we got to go back to the drawing board as far as we should have got back out on shooters. Listen, the sky report, but they did a great job. They shot well. You know, they got came out with a win. Tim, you picked up your fourth foul with about 11.34 left in the game. How tough is it to play with those four fouls? Uh, it's definitely tough, you know, especially someone, you know, you know, I obviously couldn't be as aggressive as I was under the lift. The fourth foul was a charge, and from there, you know, we, we had to change our defensive as well, and then I was coming out, switching back in, but, you know, I make that no excuse for, you know, man, for, for anything that happened tonight. Tim, did you say it was on a scouting report that you really had to close out on those guys? And if so, what was the issue? Was it just good ball movement on their part, or how were they getting so open? I think for, you know, for certain guys, they were shooters, and other guys were drivers. You know, and they just they just shot the ball tremendously. Sometimes, you know, we we did the right thing, but they just made great shots. And you know, we just got to close, get better as far as um, you know, getting to shooters and, and letting and containing drivers as well. What? Tim, how well do you think you guys uh, defended their three-point shots? I mean, they're um, coming off screens and just getting set shots too. I mean, do you think you did a good job defending that? Um, what they shoot? They shot ten for fifteen. So obviously, we I don't think we did a good enough job. You know, especially if we look back on last game where we we we, we defended the three-point very well, but tonight we did not do that. Um, DJ, there was a spurt there where they took, a, it was a game, was, I think it was close, or it was tied, and then they went up by 11. Did that kind of seem like a blur because they just kept making threes and they were out, got out in transition, got a few stops on you guys? Did that moment of the game feel like it got away from you a little bit, maybe about the eight or nine minute mark in the second half? Um, they executed. Uh, we got to get better on defense. Uh, we didn't talk enough. They executed their offense. You know, they're, they're coached by a great coach. Uh, they got open shots to hit shots. Uh, that was the game. Sam, you had five turnovers today. Did did Bucknell's defensive pressure frustrate you today? I wouldn't say that. You know, I think they did a tremendous job on defense, especially in the second half. They went into some, a different, you know, different style of play. You know, to stop myself and DJ. But you know, like I said, being a player, I, I want to be in the player I am. I, you know, I can't have five turnovers. DJ, uh, Coach Paulson from Bucknell said that it, the game came down to who could make like two or three consecutive stops. And obviously they were, and sometimes you guys weren't. What, was that frustrating, not being able to get consecutive stops tonight? Oh, yeah, it's definitely frustrating. You know, like uh, Tim said, sometimes we were doing the right things, and they were just still hitting shots. Other times we missed rotations. Uh, we gave them wide open shots, and they made us pay for it. So it was definitely frustrating down the stretch.